new hero, new event, and an event ending. There's a few things that are going to go through today that you do not want to miss. So let's head over to in-game and we'll have a look. So as we can see in one of these top buttons here, the Eternal Theatre is up. You have a couple of acts rehearsals. If we have a look at the rank, they're up to Act 39. I'm not sure how high it goes. But from what I've seen, level 40 does start to get a bit hard. I'm up to 21 and haven't had any trouble so far. But what comes along with this event is this theatre ticket, which is kind of like your monthly pass kind of thing, where you have your regular set and then you have your premium seat. Having a quick look, if you do want to upgrade to this premium seat, it is better bang for your buck than what you can buy in the shop at the moment. So this Invitation 20, and we've got 68 of these gems to get that. We'll just look at the Invitations. Get out go back and we go into trade this recruit supply box is the one that is closest to it you get 19 of this invitations for the same price so you're getting one more invitation plus all of that extra value from the rest of the event yes you do get a thousand of these atherine or whatever it is but i think the rewards that you get from here so you get some uh, research data some of the um octorite some of the enhancer so if you are going to spend the 68 of those gems, which how much is that for me? 68, $15, $16, the same price as the Covenant. If you are willing to spend that or you do want to spend and get 20 of the invitations, it is better to go and buy this than it is to go to the shop. Very, very soon, I'm going to go through and make an actual spreadsheet for you guys and you can input anything that comes up in game into that spreadsheet and it will tell you if this is a good deal or not. I'm still working on it. It will be out very, very soon. You will know because I'll put a video out so you better hit that subscribe so you do not miss it. And then there's also this kind of skill tree that I've got here. As you can see here, I went the top way because this is all attack based and damage based. And from what I've seen, this Act 40 is where it it's all about damage. Like you really need to have enough damage to complete it. So they do have normal quests as always. You've got your daily quest where you get a rose at each time and the rose upgrades the skills. And then there's big, bigger quests like completing the Act, which it does only go to Act 40, so Act 40 must be the end. I wonder how much power you need to get past that. If anyone has completed it, please tell me your power down below so everyone else knows where the kind of power cap is at. There's also a shop that comes along with this new event. As you can see, you get the gift cards. I've got 22,000 of them, and that's literally just from completing the acts. As you can see, you got one of one, one of one, five, ten. I will go and add all these up right now to see how many tickets you actually need to buy everything in here, and we'll kind of get a quick gist if we can actually buy all of these or not. I've added all of them up until this stamina elixir. Obviously, these silver coins and time hourglass, that's there for you to just run out the rest of your gift tickets. But up to there, it is 54,500. So I'm at halfway in the Act, and I've got 22,000. So if you do finish the whole act plus the other part of the story, you may get enough to buy all these. If you cut out the stamina elixir, vitality elixir, and large croissants, maybe you can probably buy the rest. I would wait, see how many you actually get, and then at the end, buy the things you really want, like invitations, gold treasure map. All, all of this stuff at the top is what I'd go for first and then work your way down. This research manual, I will definitely be buying them. The 50 of those, that's they take ages to come by, so that'll be a huge upgrade, plus this research data. These chromium plates, uh, seriously, everything in here is worth buying. The hero that you are going to be pulling for is this Kana. She has just been put into here. She inflicts stackable damage over time on enemies when dealing damage. So her normal attack, cast charms forward, dealing normal damage per second, inflicting a stack of obsession on hit with one second. One shots will track down the farthest enemy. I don't really understand how that works. But it seems like she has two different types of attack and one will take down the furthest enemy and one takes the one that it actually hits. The ultimate, Kana locks onto and attacks the farthest enemy dealing 60% damage every 5 seconds for 10 seconds. So that's 1200 damage overall for the furthest enemy. Obviously she kills them and moves to the one before. I do really like this ultimate because taking down the furthest enemy is sometimes what you want to do because they're the ones doing all the damage. You're not just getting blocked by that big defensive wall that they usually have. The passive is the standard, the 16.5% attack in all battles. And then the auto, she releases Diva Glows to strike back row enemies multiple times, dealing a total of 256% damage and inflicting a stack of obsession with each attack. There you go, I really like that. 
Again, she is attacking the back row. I do really love the abilities. This attacking of the back row can be very, very influential in matches if it works and takes down the enemy that you want to. This obsession stack that she gets from attacking the same enemy continuously, as you upgrade and awaken her further, it just keeps on getting stronger. As you can see, at 10 stacks of obsession, she gains a random effect for 10 seconds. Attack, crit, or normal attack speed up. And the cooldown is 10 seconds, so she will be continually having one of these up if someone has 10 stacks of obsession. But normally, they just inflict 1.6% damage per second up to 10 stacks, so that could be 16% damage per second. She will be doing a lot of damage to your opponents. 10 stacks of attention plus her damage dealt is up 25%. So she is an outright damage dealer and will attack the person furthest away from you. So I really think that she could be useful in a lot of teams. I don't know how well she's going to stack up against our other damage dealers we already have, like Sui and Korvar. I'm in a bit of a predicament now. I haven't got Sekhmet, and I do have enough to get my guaranteed S. I think I'm going to pull for Sekhmet because damage dealers, there's so many of them. Sekhmet is going to be very, very useful when you come over into the world and we go into this Mirage Ruins. Her healing and reviving as you make your way through this castle is invaluable. I, I, I really need her in my team because without her, you have like crappy heals. So I think I'm going to pull for Sekhmet. I'm going to leave Kana. I'll probably pull for her eventually so I can finish off this quest. Really, it's only two of these roses, so it's not really do or die if you own her or you don't. So I'd just pull for the person that you really want, and segment is who I'm going to go for. I might even do a stream tomorrow where I pull them, and I can just chat with you guys. So look out for that. It will be popping up in your feed soon if I'm going to stream tomorrow night. There's one event that is going to be finishing soon, and this is Newton's Lab. There's only 22 hours, so at the end of today's reset this will be gone i thought this was a thing that was going to stay around for ages make sure you go and use all those and get the most rewards out of that go and complete all the quests that there is to do with that there's also one other event that i nearly forgot about this gacha game it really just replaced the spinny wheel that we just finished i did do all of those just so i could get the couple of things i just used gems didn't pay for anything i don't know if it's really that worth it this pack here i would take this one 50 percent off so you get 10 of the coins. I will definitely take that one. I don't think it's worth spending money on these. But if you have heaps of gems, it might be worth it. You do need to do 200 of them. So that's going to be a lot of gems. Just make sure it will take 200 attempts, I believe, to clear this whole board. Let me know if I'm wrong. But there's definitely 20 draws to get a guaranteed top prize. And there is... 10 prizes, so that's 200 pulls. It will take you 200 pulls if you're unlucky. You may get it a bit earlier because you get a 3% chance to get a lucky one and then you may reset your pity, so it may take a little bit less. We may as well do 10 straight off the bat, see how lucky I am. Probably not that I'm probably not that lucky. Streamers luck, come on, come on, give me something good. Nope, we got all normal stuff. So I just bought 9 more. I'm going to do all the way up to 20 just so we can see what the super surprise looks like when you get it hopefully we get one of the good ones oh we got an invitation i love that uh some clothes that's yeah so look there lucky capsule is now guaranteed within 17 draws so that every time you get it earlier that guaranteed comes down so you won't have to do 200 attempts hopefully you continually whittle that down and you might get to 180 160 if you do want to go the whole way that is up to you i think i well, the flowers is probably the least one that I want here, or even the research data, that's nothing I want. But the cannon, invitations, this book of insight, the S weapon crate, an S curio crate, and even the chromium plate, those things, I definitely want. Flowers, the, the, these last three are probably the least that I want. But that's up to you if you really don't want to pull for that. But there is the two new events, the new character and the event that is nearly over. Make sure you go and do that Newton's Lab. That is everything for today. So... I would pull for Sekhmet over Kana anyway, if you are still umming and ahhing. I think Sekhmet is much more useful in the game. She is the only reviver that I know of and one of the only healers, well, probably the best healer. And in that Mirage ruin, she is just second to none. So hopefully I've helped you out today. If I have, pretty please leave a comment down below and let me know if you are pulling for Kana or not. If not, I'll see you in the video soon.